Hiya, I'm Pimmy. Um, I want to show you um, the knit, the mittens, the stranded mittens I've been knitting on for far too long now. Um, I say far too long because it shows. Uh, my knitting has changed and I've gotten better in um, uh, stranded knitting and, and that makes a difference in the first and the second mitten. And uh, I want to show you that today and I'm going to tell you um, about how I uh, knit stranded. I really like uh, the, the action of stranded knitting with uh, two colors that um, interact and um, are knit um, one after the other and uh, make a pattern that way. And I'm working on these mittens. Let's see a bit of light. I can get the pattern to show up. Um, there are fishes on the outside of the mitten and a net structure, uh, net um, pattern on uh, the inside. Perhaps this one shows it a bit better because there's a bit more difference between the two colors, a uh, uh, blue, indigo blue and um, gray. I'm not sure if the net pattern is showing up or not. Um, but I like um, uh, I like uh, stranded knitting and I like the fabric it makes. The double thickness, um, if you look at the inside you see the floats making the, the fabric a lot thicker and warmer more isolating um, insulating not isolating um, and uh, I um, used to uh, knit it with my uh, yarns in two hands so uh, one color over um, the, the right hand knitting um, uh, knitting English so um, uh, throwing and one hand over the left uh, one f uh, a yarn over the left hand, um, picking, um, uh, doing the continental style knitting. Now I usually um, knit with uh, my yarn over the left hand, so I'm a lot better at the continental style, the, the picking. And my right hand has the tendency to uh, keep hold of the, the yarn too much to keep the tension too high and I uh, strangle the, um, uh, the uh, stitches I do with my right hand. So that's not really working to get an even tension between uh, the two colors you're working with in stranded knitting. And uh, this gives the problem that the fabric draws in and starts to pucker and the bits that are knit in the left hand color um, are pulled in by the floats on uh, the, in the background that um, are tensioned by the right hand because that tension is too high. Now uh, the um, solution I had for this is a knitting thimble. This works for um, continental knitting very well. I don't know it, if it works for English knitters as well. I don't think so, but I'm not usually an English style knitter, not a thrower. Um, and this works for me. And I put it on my uh, left index finger and I let the two colors, the two yarns, go through the two loops and the yarn, um, one, one yarn goes over the top of my hand and the other goes underneath my finger and underneath my hand and I tens tension them 
between um, my ring finger and my pink. I'll show you. So, here's my knitting. Um, I put the two yarns in uh, the little loops. One over my finger, one under my finger. And it goes underneath and over my hand. And I have them, um, and I crisscross them the other way uh, between my ring finger and my pink. So the um, blue yarn goes, is the one goes uh, underneath my finger and underneath my ring finger and it comes up over my pink. And the grey yarn goes over my hand as the, the upper loop of the thimble and goes down between my ring finger and pink and ends up on the bottom. Now, my knitting, let's see if I can get this on camera. Um, if this is working probably not um, I can pick up um, one color uh, and stick my needle through the loop on, uh, on the left side needle and pick up the color um, from the two on the, uh, on the thimble because uh, there's room between them and they're, they're spaced out and I can, uh, can knit them that way. Now how am I going to do this with keeping the camera and knitting with two hands? Not sure if I can. Hold on um, and don't get nauseous um, when the camera moves too much. Sorry about that. Let's see. No, not going to work. Right, let's see if this works. Um, some light on here. Let's see if we can show this. Um, I have a blue uh, stitch here, so I put my needle through and I go underneath the uh, grey yarn here and I pick up the blue. And I have a grey stitch here and I put my needle not underneath to pick up the blue but in between from the, from up to down and I pick up the grey and I go underneath to pick up the blue I go over the top to pick up the grey so that's how I um, pick out the two different colors and the tension is uh, is even um, because uh, they both go in the same hand um, um, I tensioned uh, over the top and underneath and by my pinky good um, now this took some time figuring out especially the tensioning uh, bit and how I um, had to keep that in my hand and um, that shows in the knitting because I was almost finished with this uh, mitten and I decided to try um, both of the, the mittens on this being the second mitten um, and uh, it showed that I got a lot better at stranded knitting because the second one doesn't pucker as much and the fabric isn't drawn in as much but it is also at least two sizes bigger than the first one. 
so yes, um, I'm very happy that I uh, have gotten better so much and I'm going to rip out uh, the first mitten and uh, re-knit it and make it the same size as the second one. Um, so I'm really happy that we have uh, a summer in front of us and uh, not a cold winter and I might have time to um, finish these before it gets cold again. And um, I want to line them as well with an, um, a yarn spun with Angora in it uh, because I have um, my Angora bunny who supplies me with lots of s extremely soft, extremely warm uh, fibers that I spin up into uh, yarn. And I want to use some of it, but usually it's too warm to use on its own. And in mittens it'll be really nice and soft on the inside. So that's also why I'm going to um, rip out the uh, first smaller one and not the second bigger one. Because I want to line it and uh, I need the room um, to put the lining inside. So I'm trying to look for the silver silver lining in this and uh, not curse too much about uh, having to um, completely redo the first mitten. Uh, so yeah, ho hopefully um, uh, through the second, uh, through the third mitten, um, uh, where I'll end up with um, uh, two uh, same sized ones, I'll uh, keep um, uh, keep my motivation up. We'll see. See you next time. Bye.